and Mrs. North, starring Richard Denning and Barbara Britton. Presented by Revlon, world's largest selling lipsticks, world's largest selling nail enamel, world's largest selling liquid makeup, touch and glow. Tonight, Mr. and Mrs. North in Target. Hello. Tonight, we're bringing you one of our most exciting adventures. And I have some Revlon news for you about a most fabulous new lipstick. Revlon's new Lanolite lipstick, a new non-smear lipstick. Now you can guard against dry, parched lips. For at last, you can beauty treat your lips. Yes, you can beauty treat your lips with Revlon's new Lanolite lipstick. For moist, soft, younger looking lips. And it's non-smear too. So guard against dry, parched lips. Beauty treat your lips with Revlon's new Lanolite lipstick. And remember, every single Revlon lipstick at your cosmetic counter today contains miracle Lanolite. Far more effective than lanolin itself. And here's still more news. For a limited time only, you can get your new Revlon Lanolite lipstick in this stunning jeweled case. A $2 value, yours for the price of the lipstick alone. Just $1.10. It's a terrific bargain. I love mine. Get yours tomorrow. A fabulous jeweled lipstick, $2 value for only $1.10. And you'll love Revlon's new Lanolite lipstick, too. Non-smear. And it beauty treats your lips. Deserted, I feel like Robinson Crusoe. Mm. There's many a time when I feel like your good man Friday. Just for that, you can do something for me right now. Well, I have to. Jerry, dear. I just want you to rub some suntan oil on my back. <sighs> okay. Flop over. here. Sometimes I think I'm antisocial. <laughs> Look at that lazy surf. Let's spend the rest of our lives away from everybody, huh? Okay. There. Now can I get back to reading my book? Of course, darling. I wouldn't think of interrupting your reading. Okay. Stay down. Jerry, be careful. Oh, I didn't even get a look at his license plate. Come on, let's get out of here. today, wasn't it, buddy? But it'll be different next time. Talking to yourself now? Mm -mm. To my buddy there. Calls himself Jerry North. A book publisher, lives in a fancy apartment, drives a big car. Married to a beautiful girl. I saw her today at the beach. What a widow she's gonna make. Yeah, and she's already got the black bathing suit. And we haven't got enough trouble. Trouble? This is a pleasure, baby, a real ball. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. I know. That's all you have been doing for a long time. Why don't you look at us for a change, the way we're living? 
if you can call it that. We're off on that again. Okay, cry it up, but not in my beer. I know what I'm doing, what I've got to do. You got a complaint? Let's hear it. What have I got to complain about? Maybe we eat out of tin cans when I can steal them from a market. Maybe I don't have any decent clothes and we can't pay the rent on this dump. But I have you. At least I have you till you kill this man and they send you to the electric chair. Oh, that's quite a nice speech, honey. Too bad you don't get hot like that more often. So I pull you off. Now let me set you straight on one thing. Nobody's gonna send me to the chair unless it's you. And I'd kill you for that. Wipe the beer off your face. It don't make you look any prettier. Come on, Mr. North. Let's take a little walk, old buddy. Good. Good, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Okay, we're in action. And Lieutenant Wagon of Homicide promises an early arrest. Yeah. You know, Jerry, there's something about all this that I don't get at all. Yeah. Seems to me you mention other near misses. Jerry, you didn't tell me about that. Well, I, I wasn't sure until today. Not sure, huh? Last week, you just missed being pushed off a subway platform and a taxi cab practically chased you on the sidewalk. Is that right? Oh, Jerry. Look, I get scared just like anybody else when things like this happen, but I can't scream murder every time they do. Now, take it easy, Jerry. This is serious business. Yeah, I got that impression. Well, what do I do about it? Hide under the bed? Only if you'd be more comfortable there. I want you to stay here in the apartment. I'm putting a police guard on the door. Oh, and uh, when can I come out and play? When I bring you down to the lineup. You know, Jerry, I think I know the guy who's gunning for you. And I think you do, too. I know him. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll be seeing you. What do you mean? Hey, Bill, wait a minute. <laughs> I give up. I'm about to. Oh. Three hours making out that list. You know, if there's anyone we've even met casually during the last 10 years who isn't on it, I'll eat the clipboard. I don't see how you can talk about food at a time like this. <laughs> Thank you. That's why I love you, being able to joke at a time like this. You know, maybe I'm kidding myself, but I can't imagine any of these people actually taking a shot at me. Yeah, red nine on the black 10. Where? Right there. Oh. Off my game. Hello, Bill. What? Television survey. No, I am not listening to Speed Harrigan Space Sheriff. Oh, of all the stupid things. It's a good show. Oh. There was this character from Omega, the fourth galaxy. He had six heads. When he grinned, the effect was overpowering. What are you talking about? Speed Harrigan, Space Sheriff, two weeks ago. No. You answer it. If it's Speed Harrigan again, I'm overhauling my disintegrator. Hello? Oh, yes, Bill. Oh, I'm so glad you called. We've been holding our breath waiting to hear from you. Well, you can start breathing again. My boys just brought in the number one suspect. Can you two get down here right away to identify him? You bet we can. Come on, Pam. Hey, get my jacket and hat. Yeah. Jacket and hat. Come on. Jerry, I won. Oh, good. Come on. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, now what? Oh. <laughs> Now, take your time, Jerry. You've got to be absolutely sure. That one. The one on the right. I've seen him before. So have I. Recently? 
I'm not sure, Bill. All right. That's all. Take him back. Oh, and bring Galt down here. Oh, so it's you, huh? Why don't you lay off me? That'll do, Galt. Can you place him now, Jerry? He should. Him and his old lady got me five to ten. Well, Mr. Gall, this old lady remembers you were guilty. I... Will you be quiet, Galt? You get your chance to talk. Sure, I remember the whole thing. Galt here was extorting money from that little tailor down the street from our apartment, remember? Mm -hmm. I walked into the shop just as he was teeing off on the little guy. And you swore to get even with Jerry. What'd you expect me to do, lady? Pin a medal on him? Look, that was over five years ago. Since I got my parole, I've been strictly clean. And I suppose you have a gold-plated alibi for 11 o'clock this morning. Uh, you wouldn't believe it if I did have one. I'll tell you one thing, though. I didn't take a pot shot at North. But I wish I knew who did. I'd kick him bow-legged. Why? Because he missed. Whew, well, I'm glad that's over. I don't like to seem narrow-minded. But I'm opposed to people who try to kill my husband. Well, don't apologize. I like your attitude. <laughs> I wish someone would explain mine. What do you mean? Well, I suppose I should be relieved and happy that our friend Bill Wigan put the arm on Galt before he made good his promise to get even with me, but... I don't know. Somehow, I, I just can't help feeling sorry for the guy. Sorry for him? Are you kidding? No, I mean it. I realize Galt brought all this trouble on himself, but well, nevertheless, I do seem to be his personal Jonah. Well, it's better than being his personal victim. Perhaps you'd like me to bake a cake for him, with a file in it. You could take it down to the jail. Skip it. I won't be needing that file now. Stay right where you are, North. You too, sister. <laughs> the nights I've dreamt about this, about getting out sometime and having you right where I want you. Look, I don't know how... Shut up. I used to lie awake in my cell, figuring how it'd be. Whether I'd pull a trigger and get it over real quick, like, or... keep you on a hook and watch you squirm. You're crazy, Gold. Yeah, yeah, I'm crazy. Star crazy. Look, North, I hate jails. I hate them even worse than I hate you. That's why I'm going to give it to you. No, no, don't, please. Here, take it. Go on, go on, be my guest. Okay. Now, if I was the guy that was going to blast you, all I had to do was to pull a trigger, right? Sure. Well, I just proved that I ain't. Now, look, North, it's plenty tough on a guy when he's got a record. I ain't never asked nobody for no break. But I'm asking you for one now. How about it, North? Can you get the cops off my neck? Get in the bedroom, quick. I'll play cards. Yeah. Hi, Bill. What's up? Lenny, shut the door and come on in here. You two all right? Oh, just dandy, thanks. And you? Cut the clowning. Why, Bill Wagon, what brings you here? Galt crashed out of prison. Well, that makes it open season on Jerry North. Not quite. I'm putting the guard back on your apartment. Oh, I want to make sure all the doors and windows are locked. Uh, I'll check. OK. Uh, can I use your phone, Pam? Oh, sure. Thanks. Wagon, anything come in for me? Right, I'm coming in. Pam. Oh, Bill, you startled me. Oh, I'm sorry. But I just want you to know the department will do everything it can to protect Jerry. But the big lug has got to cooperate with us. Oh, I'm sure he will, Bill. I'm not. Somehow I got the feeling he's just uh -oh. trying to... Oh, you two plotting something? Yes, pal, your old age. Mm -hmm. Everything okay? The window's locked and all? Oh, we run a taut ship around here. Good. Well, keep your head down. I'll keep in touch. Okay. Jerry, are you sure we're doing the right thing? Okay, Galt, you can come in, huh? 
Thanks, North. For nothing. Huh? Come again? We bought your story, Galt, but I'm sure we couldn't have sold it to Wigan. Now, with you back in jail and the police off guard, I'd be a sitting duck for that sniper. Hey, that's smart, North. Got to hand it to you. Well, what happens now? Well, that's up to the man with the high-powered rifle. Jerry, I just don't like this. We, we can't just sit and wait for that man to strike. That's all we can do. Hey, you really got a problem. Well, I'll be shoving. Oh, you're not going anywhere. Why not? Who's going to stop me? The police. Go on, take a look. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Nobody can get in and nobody can get out. Mm. Jim? Oh, no, not again. <laughs> 42. Okay. One million four hundred and seventy-two thousand dollars and thirty-eight cents you owe me. Yeah. Well, hey, we'll cut just one time. Double or nothing. High card. Okay. You go first. <clears throat> Black Widow. Hello. I'm going to kill you, Owens. What? What did you say? I said I was going to kill you, Owens. By now, you ought to realize you can't hide behind a phony name. And all the cops in New York City can't keep me from getting you, buddy. <laughs> oh, now, wait a minute. You're making a big mistake. <laughs> mistake? No. I don't make mistakes, Owens. I don't miss, either. Unless I want to miss, like today. I could have put that bullet right between your horns, old buddy boy. But that would have been too easy for you. You're going to die, Owens. Like a lot of other guys died. Slow and hard. Never knowing when it's going to hit you. A subway platform? We might try that again. Or a hit and run taxi. I wasn't even trying that day. I just wanted you to know I'd found you. Another thing, old buddy. Don't try to get away or change your name again. I'll be watching you every second. I wouldn't miss seeing you squirm and sweat. I got lots of time, Owens. There's no hurry about when I get you. Tonight, tomorrow, next week, somewhere, sometime, sooner or later, I'm going to kill you. And I got an idea when I do get around to it, you're going to thank me for taking you off the hook. Hello. Hello. Was... was that...? Yeah, the sniper. He kept calling me Owens. I think he... Oh, he sounds like he's off his trolley. Oh, a nut, huh? You can still pull a trigger. You're so right, Mr. Gold. Don't worry, honey. At least now we know what we're up against. What's on your mind, North? You, pal. You're in trouble. I'm in trouble? Yeah. We gotta get you back in jail. Oh, no, no dice. I just did five years, remember? I'm not about to go back there. Now, look, use your head and save your neck. Oh, you mean if you're shot while I'm loose? Yeah. I'll take my chances. Okay, I've got a proposition for you. You're a gambler? Uh-uh. Well, what have you got to lose? Come on, just cut the cards. You tell me. What's the matter? Scared? Huh. For. Get Bill Wigan on the phone. Sorry, pal. This had to be my party. Now, Revlon presents lovely Julia Mead to tell you about a new makeup miracle. Well, now there's a whole new way of making up that makes your complexion look completely flawless and yet completely natural. It's Revlon's fabulous new liquid makeup, Touch and Glow. Just smooth it on, and instantly blemishes and tiny lines seem to vanish. Your skin looks soft and radiant, as though lit by the soft glow of candlelight. Has a flawless candlelight look. Actually, thanks to Revlon's own skin softening ingredient, Lanolite, Touch and Glow is good for your skin, like wearing a makeup and beauty cream all in one.
So tomorrow, give yourself a complexion that's completely flawless, yet completely natural. Discover Touch and Glow, Revlon's new liquid makeup. Pretty good shooting, Jerry. Put the gun in your pocket. I'm getting a special permit for you to carry it. Hmm. That's all I can do to carry myself. Up all night waiting for something to happen. I almost wish he'd shoot me and get it over with. Another episode like that one with Galt, we might try painting a target on your coat. The sniper will never be handed a better opportunity. Oh, now look, Bill, haven't you run that into the ground? I did what I thought was right. And I've also apologized for it. Okay, let's get back to the apartment. I've got Sergeant Johnson coming up to take over the watch again. You know, in, in one of your suits, he might pass for you. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Come on. Take Mr. North downtown, officer. Sit down, Jerry. You're making me nervous. I don't like it. That maniac may shoot at the drop of... Relax, darling. That's just the grocery man at the kitchen door. I'll let him in. Yeah, they checked him in downstairs. Just put the groceries on the drain board, Herbie. You aren't Herbie. No, ma'am. Go ahead, call him. I want him out here. Come on, sister, sound off. You're crazy. There's a policeman in there. So? Call them both. I don't mind. Pam. Hey, what's been keeping you, Pam? Gosh, Bill had to leave. I Hello, Owen. Keep your voice down or I'll kill her first. Remember me, Owens? Mike Garvey. Remember? Try, Owens. Try hard. Remember your buddies? The ones you squeal on to the Gestapo? I'm Garvey, the one they couldn't kill. Does that help you? You're wrong. My name is North. I never saw you before. You can't squirm out of it, Owens. You've changed, but not that much. You're the same rat that was with me in that German prison camp during the war. But I wasn't in Germany during the war. I was in the Navy in the South Pacific. You always could lie, Owens. You did a pretty good job of covering up after the war. I've even seen your GI death certificate. But I knew you the second I spotted you in that subway station. You're wrong. I'm telling you, I never saw you didn't before. Don't take any chance of forgetting your face or make any mistake. I stole your ID card out of the Gestapo files. Carried it with me all the years I've been looking for you, Owens. You can leave your dog tags on a dead body 
Or change your name to North, or whatever you say it is now, but it isn't going to make any difference to the bullet in this gun. Closest I want to be to a dead man. What? Here. Oh. Gee, this enamel dries fast. Isn't it peaceful here? Mm -hmm. Isn't it wonderful when we just have each other? Something will happen. Always does. Jerry, you sound as though we look for trouble. Just for that, you can put oil on my back. All right, dear. Oh. No, not again. Talk to you. Oh. oh, darling. Darling, you just can't win. Oh, I guess you're right. But we still have one thing to be thankful for. Ah, oh, we still have each other. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. North is directed by Paul Landers. Produced by John W. Loveton. A John W. Loveton production. Starring Barbara Britton and Richard Denning. Featuring Francis DeSales.